There's got to be a better way. So for you teachers out there or anybody that uses a lot of devices, you're gonna have to charge them. I've been experiencing a problem where I'm getting a rat's nest from all my plugins. I have quite a few iPads, uh, some tablets, and I'm just noticing that all these wires are just getting tangled up and it's a pain to get these plugged back in. I found a solution. I was on YouTube and there was a, now I'll put the, the link to the YouTube channel, there's a, a hack. But all you need to do is use a blow dryer and coil this wire up. Once it cools down, you'll have a coiled up cord, which I would rather have than this mess. So I'm gonna unplug every one of these and then I'm gonna see how well it works. So I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm going to wrap this cord around it and you should come out with something similar to this nice and tight I'm try to tighten a little bit more just like that and you can tape the ends if you want to uh, and then you just blast some heat all right so kind of coiled it up on a pencil here and tape both ends and i'm just going to heat it up All right, so I use the hairdryer to heat this up. It's pretty hot right now, so I'm gonna let it cool down. And I, I'd say I, I probably, I put the hairdryer on it for about two and a half minutes, three minutes, and I just went back and forth, rolled it around, um, and just make sure it's nice and tight still. And then let it cool down and then undo the tape and see what you get. So I let this cool down for a little bit and I'm gonna unravel it and see what we've got. So uh, like I said, I've taped both ends. I've got a nice coiled up cord for my iPads. And now, once I plug this in, look at that. Instead of being all over the floor, tangled up, it's gonna just coil up nicely like that and should be permanent now. So I am pretty happy with the way this turned out and I think I'm gonna do that to all of my cords. And I'll show you a before and after uh, picture and show you what it looks like. I thought this video would be important because I feel like a lot of teachers are running into this problem, especially if they're trying to do one-to-one -one iPads or devices in their school, in their classroom, and you don't want to have a mess to deal with all the time. And the reason why I wanted to fix this was because I was seeing a lot of my iPads not being charged because kids couldn't find the right charger. Uh, it was just all tangled up. I'm, I'm hoping that this will prevent kids from not charging it and it's going to look a lot cleaner so i hope this helps you guys and leave a note in the comment if it helped uh, if you have a better hack than this uh, another thing that i was thinking about was maybe zip tying once it's coiled up zip tying the insides so that it remains tiny but for right now, I don't see a, a need for that. I, I'm, I'm really liking the way this looks right now. So hopefully that helps. And I feel like this is a good hack for not just teachers, but anyone that has multiple devices. So um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.